Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect an Xbox One controller to an iPhone or iPad. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating it on an iPad because the steps are pretty much identical on an iPhone, so you can still follow along. So before we begin, we need to find out if your Xbox One controller is compatible with your Apple device. The reason being is because Microsoft made multiple versions of the Xbox console, which is pretty confusing. Some do support wireless Bluetooth capability and some do not. The easiest way to tell is by looking at this picture that I posted up. Basically, the version of the controller you see with the entire front facing panel, the exact same color all around, means it supports Bluetooth capability. If you have a controller where the face plate is one type of color and material design and is different from the surrounding area where the Xbox button is, as you can see, then it will not support Bluetooth capability and you're out of luck. So with that said, assuming that you now figured out your controller is compatible with Bluetooth capability, you wanna grab your controller while it's off and press and hold the Xbox button on the controller itself to power it on. Now, if it turns solid light, that means it's most likely turn on your Xbox console. What you wanna do is walk over to your Xbox, press and hold the power button and it will turn off. Going back to the controller itself, what you wanna do is then press and hold the sync button on the top of the controller for about three seconds and it will then cause it to start blinking uh, the Xbox light, which means it's now in pairing mode. Now you wanna go over to your Apple device. Again, I'm using iPad for this demo, but you can also use the same steps on an iPhone. I'm gonna open the main system settings menu, go to Bluetooth and ensure Bluetooth is on. Then look for the wireless controller, tap on it, and it should sync up with your Apple device within a couple of seconds. To pair the controller back to your console is really easy. What you wanna do is press and hold the Xbox power button on the controller to turn it back on and then you wanna walk over to your console and press and hold the power button to turn your console on. Once it's powered on, tap the sync button, which is a tiny little button on the console, and then also tap the sync button for about two, three seconds on the controller itself, and then it'll automatically pair back with your Xbox console and you're good to go. And that's pretty much a wrap for me. So if you wanna see the written version of this guide, you can find a link to my website in the video description below, as well as my social links, and that's pretty much it. So hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.